One of our favorite things about caravanning is winter. Uh, we enjoy our summer caravanning, but in winter we love to go out and spend time on the beach. The big wind, the, the cold, the waves, you know, we really enjoy our time. We, in fact, we've just come back from a two week trip in Barwon Heads. And what I want to share with you is how we deal with the cold within our caravan. A couple of simple tips which have really helped us. So the first form of heating is obviously our reverse cycle air conditioner, which is here in our cellar line. It does the job, but geez, it's loud. There's no way you can sleep with this thing on. It is just horribly loud. It's quiet by, stand, by other air conditioner standards, but it's still quite loud for both heating and cooling. But it is a form of heating uh, and we do use it. Our second form of heating is this um, a gas heater which came with a caravan it's a it's a truma gas heater it's fantastic it doesn't use that much gas but it still has a little bit of noise however our favorite form of heating is this 19 dollar heater from bunnings that we got it's reasonably quiet it's a 2000 watt up we never have to set it to 2000 watts 1000 watts sits on the bench plugs in heats the caravan in a matter of minutes and it just works and it's not that noisy we tend to leave it in the bathroom it's got a whole lot of safety features that if it overheats it'll cut out if it falls over it's got a safety switch it'll stop functioning so that's been our favorite form of heating but if you're not in the caravan park no power then we resort to the actual gas itself however when heating and cooling we do get a lot of heat loss in a caravan so one thing that really loses a lot of heat for us is these vents even though they're closed it's kind of a piece of plastic up there the vent closed you actually get a, quite a lot of heat loss through here and we have two of these so I want to show you how to fix the heat loss through these vents so basically what you do is you go to your super cheap auto store or Repco or you go to your two dollar shop and you buy one of these visor shade things and you kind of come up here and you measure roughly how much you need and cut off a piece that's slightly bigger than the actual opening that's quite important I've now cut a piece quick and dirty cut basically what you do is you pop it in there and there's enough crevices and nooks and crannies here to lodge this silver reflective well and it'll stay up there so that does two things it kind of stops some of the heat from getting out and more importantly in summer it plays a huge role in stopping the heat from coming in so making life easier for the air conditioning and uh, life more comfortable for you so that's one of my one of my other mods that we did for this winter trip to Barwon Heads another important feature is summing up we're looking at buying a new caravan and what I would recommend if you are buying a new caravan you, and you can afford it do not get a plywood floor which is what we have in our Jayco just show them the plywood floor so that's a plywood floor no matter how much you heat this caravan because of the plywood there is no thermal property your floor is always at outside temperature it's really cold or in summer it's really hot so one way to overcome this if you are buying a new caravan make sure you get a composite floor a floor that's got thermal properties it'll make a huge huge difference to the comfort of your van and likewise get your walls made from composite as well that makes a huge huge difference so stay away from timber floors and make sure you order caravan with a proper composite floor for maximum thermal benefit and comfort